first Wicked Series race of 2013 kicked off at Krupp Drakenstein Games Club on the 2nd of March. About 50 short and long course teams showed up to tackle the mountains surrounding Farntrip on a blistering hot day. The race started with a 5k micro nav sprint on neighbouring farms. Teams could collect the four checkpoints in any order and this leg served its purpose of quickly splitting up the field to prevent a game of follow the leader. Front teams made short work of the Micronav and after 40 minutes they were heading back into transition and setting off on a mountain bike leg. The bike leg was full of route choice and soon after the start most teams elected to cross the Berg River in a more direct approach to the next checkpoints. Clever teams chose to cross in ankle deep water while others made harder work of this crossing. As is to be expected in any adventure race, there was some optional and some mandatory hiker biking. And who would have expected a vineyard on top of a mountain like <laughs> a spectacular vineyard. <laughs> Teams then made their way towards the next transition at Mont Rochelle Wine Estate where they could refuel before trading their bikes for trail shoes and heading out on a trekking loop. You know, it is like an animal. Three, four words. I was in my mood. That was my leg. The best! The best! I love adventures. The trek included a nice mix of vineyards, forest, mountains and even a couple urban checkpoints in Franchuk town. It took teams anywhere from one and a half to five hours to complete, with the long course competitors collecting a more navigationally challenging outlying checkpoint to keep them honest. There was some good tussle up front with Cape Storm Wicked Racing holding on to a narrow lead all the way through the race. But both Olympus teams, as well as Spira and Patat, did not make things easy for them. Once back on the bikes, short course teams had a rather straightforward trip home, but the long course guys first had to scale Franschuk Pass. This grueling tar climb was only made worthwhile by the spectacular views and cold spring water at the checkpoints. From there, it was bushwhacking for some and roundabout roads for others as they made their way back to the finish via an awesome single track above the Berg River Dam. The last slog on Tar Road was tough on tired legs, but crossing that finish line and sharing war stories over a beer or two always seems to quickly justify the suffering and definitely helps forget about the pain. <laughs>